Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, I'm gonna show you how to select a part of your mesh and separate it into a different object. Firstly, you should know that, Blender considers them as one object when you add two or more meshes in edit mode. Let's press Shift A and add a cube and two torus. As you can see in Outliner Editor, they are three separated objects and we can select them one by one. Let's select the both torus and delete them. Then, select the cube and press Tab key to go to Edit Mode. Let's add both torus again in Edit Mode. Go back to object mode again. As you can see in Outliner Editor, Blender considers them as one object named Cube and we cannot select them one by one. In order to separate them into different objects again, go to Edit Mode. Now, select the object you want to separate. To do this, hover over the objects any vertex or edge, and press L key. As you can see, it has selected all vertices linked with this vertex. Then, let's press P key to open separate menu. Select the separate by selection option. There we go. We have separated the torus into a different object. Go back to object mode and as you can see, we can select and transform the torus separately. Press Ctrl Z and undo our mesh to one object again. If we want to separate every independent section of the mesh, we should press P key and select the By Loose Part option. There we go. Let's go back to Object Mode. Now, we can move every single part of the mesh separately. Let's go to Material Properties menu and add different materials to objects. Let's select all of them. Then, press Ctrl J to join them together. Go back to edit mode. Press P key and select the by material option. There we go. Every object that has different material has been separated into own object. Separating objects into their own objects can be very useful. For example, if you model a character as one mesh, including all the clothing and accessories, you can separate all the accessories into their own objects, so you can work with them separately from the rest of the mesh. Let's select those faces of the character.
Then, press Shift D and duplicate it. Choose the Shrink Fatten tool from the left toolbar and fatten our selection little bit. Press P key and separate it by selection. There we go. We have separated mesh. Now, let's assign it different material. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.